Hello everyone, this is Zenisato from Team Plasma here, and I'm going to be casting a PvZ between the Red Zerg Caste and the Blue Protoss Unzalus, or Unzalus. I like to call him Unzalus, because that sounds better. Anyways, Unzalus is going to be spawning in the bottom right position, and Caste is going to be spawning in the top left. The map is going to be Taldarim Altar, and we'll see how this goes. APM for both players. Um, I would be. Uh, I would say maybe bronze, silver. You know, I, I can't really comment on that. But Gonzalez gonna be scouting. I don't know where this is going. This is going right there. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, this is not a spawn point. The spawn point is actually right here. So right here, not right here. So. Bear in mind, it's right here, 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 oh wait, here, here, oh that's right, and here. So, <laughs> yeah, that is the wrong way to scout, by the way. Pretty sure you don't spawn on top of rocks. But anyways, that is your third base, uh, potential third base. Your expansion's right here, and the spawn point's right here. Uh, or if you want light, or if you want, you know, expansion, third base. Uh, so Anzal is going to be scouting in the correct direction now. Uh, Caste not putting up a spawning pool yet. This is probably, uh, he's probably going to go for a hatchery. So this is a, uh, opening up with hatchery, no spawning pool. And we're going to see what Anzal has up to do all this stuff. And that is two gateways. Two gateways probably to put on some early pressure, I would suppose. But that is going to be going down for Anzalus. Spawn pool just getting started. So, Anzalus, two gateways, going to be start finishing up about now. One gateway finishes, one about halfway. Needs to continue making probes, continuously make probes. Make probes. And he and Caste is just going to keep growing up, maybe? He does have. 350 minerals. Yeah, putting turning those into drones needs to do that. And Gonzalez sees the standard spawning pool after hatchery, so he knows that he's going to be going against kind of late zerglings, I would suppose. And uh, spawning pool just finishing now. No extracted for either players yet. Uh, as a Protoss, this would probably mean a early zealot push. But with the map this huge, such as Taldarim Altar, it's going to take forever to get from here all the way to here. So by the time that Gonzalez makes the walk all the way to here, Castit will be ready. Because he can just make out Zerglings whenever he wants to. And that's what he's doing right now. So a similar just going to be starting up for Gonzalez. So this is going to be a pretty zealot heavy army, I would think. Needs to continue to make probes. Needs to continue making probes. Oh my gosh, my English is horrible right now. Needs to go for that second gas. Ne uh, no gas for cast day yet, as he is just going drones and uh, zerglings and overlords. So there are about there are six zealots on the field right now. Two more going to be popping out, and only one probe on that assimilator. So not getting that much gas. We'll see why. Oh, and gonna be pushing out with these seven zealots. But by the time they make it here, no, Caste is prepared for this like ages ago. So this attack will probably be held off quite effectively if we see some good micro. Caste is gonna be getting his two extractors, and there's not much going on. A zergling just running down here, going to be seeing that zealot push, and <laughs> Anzal is turning back, no, now Un Caste is knowing about this, now he's going to make six more zerglings and two spine cars, the perfect reaction to what he is seeing right now, so this is the perfect reaction, and Caste going to be taking these two watchtowers just to see when he is moving out, uh, uh, yeah. So spine crawlers, I don't know if it's gonna finish in time. Needs to target down these spine crawlers. Needs to target down these spine crawlers. And 
Queen's gonna be backing up here. Need a back up, need a back up, Queen. There we go. Needs to focus down these spine crawlers. This spine crawler is gonna finish. Needs to push away, needs to pull away right now, and that's what exactly what he's doing. He's gonna be losing that one zealot. Gonzalez is making ten more Zerglings and a Roach Warren. And the first stalkers from Gonzalez are popping out. Needs to put those probes on the gas. One more probe on the gas right there. Needs to start up Warp Gate technology and uh, he doesn't know about the Zerglings stationed at these watchtowers, so Zell's going to be going for expansion now, needs to put more pylons down so he doesn't get supply blocked. Caste is going for more Zerglings, needs to probably drone up by now. But Gonzalez's is Zell Heavy Army, probably worthless against Roaches. So that Roach Warren just finishing up. Uh, no upgrades on any of his units right now. Uh, his no roaches for him right now. He needs to make a lot of drones. The drone needs to get back to work. He needs to make a lot of drones here. He only has two drones mining at that base. And not many here either. So if you look at the income tab, 19 harvesters for Caste and versus 24 for Gonzalez. Now he Gonzalez does need to keep making uh, probes as he is going to get expansion. So he needs to keep making probes. He already has 300, 400 minerals in the bank right now. Zerg player does have 550 minerals. And we're going to be getting another spine crawler just for extra safety. Still no upgrades for the Zerg player. And expansion just putting, uh, just getting up for Gonzalez. We do have some sentries and stalkers on the field right now. Uh, we are going to use a 1, 2, 3, 4 gate stargate off of expansion and warp gate warp technology is still not complete so he is still making units really slowly out of these two gateways still making zealots but there are six roaches on the field there are three roaches on the field i'm sorry now six more join the group and we still don't have any upgrades i don't think he's going to get any upgrades but there are some uh zerglings attacking these rocks probably going to be taking a third base right now to Queens right here, probably one to do creep spread, yes, one to do creep ah. probably one to do creep spread. Still no third or fourth extractor for uh Caste right now. Caste is supply blocked. He is going for the Zerg range attack level one for his roaches and needs to continuously make probes for Gonzalez. And I wonder what he's gonna get out this Stargate. Because I have tried my luck with Stargate against the Zerg player and I can say that I epically failed because I don't know how to micro so we'll we will see if that comes into play but right now Caste has nothing to go against this uh, against air units so this is a good move for Gonzalez he does know that he just forced his player to get a lot of Zerglings and probably tech up to Roaches which is why which is why he got some stalkers and sentries but he thought one step ahead and he got a uh, Stargate. Oh, now a second Stargate coming out. Going to be going for the Void Rays. So Void Rays going to be focusing down those Roaches, I would suppose. And then killing those Roaches. Zerglings can... I am Zerg... Ah. Zealous can attack the Zerglings. And Stalkers can also attack the Roaches at the same time. So more damage for uh, cast for Gonzalez. Gonzalez also needs to continue to make probes. As I mentioned earlier, he is macroing pretty good. Except for the fact that he has 500... Uh, 500 gas. He hasn't researched blink or charge yet. He does have his second Stargate almost complete. Nothing but one Void Ray on the field right now. Uh, needs to continuously make probes. And he, let's see, Caste is going to be going for a Spore Crawler just in case for any air attacks, but that's not going to. But one, one Spore Crawler is probably not going to be enough to counter many, many Void Rays, which. Yep, he is making two Void Rays right now and needs to work with more units and make some more probes and make some more pylons. He is going for the air attack level 1 and Caste going to be going for that Nonomize Carapace. I don't know what the heck that is because I don't play Zerg. But anyways, he is going for that third base. Uh, this seller right here is going to see that third base. going to be hacking away at this hatchery just to delay it a little. And Caste not going to be moving out with his roaches and zerglings but remember there are now three void rays on the field 
And there are a lot of Zealot and sentries. Need some force field this round. Wait, never mind. He's gonna force field that, but yeah, he might be able to take this out. Needs to micro those zealots around. Gonna be taken out by those roaches. So zealots versus roaches, not really good for the zealots. Using a lot of guardian shield and no force field seen by Gonzalez right yet, but this is gonna be Gonzalez is gonna be holding this off quite easily. This Overlord by Caste right here. Gonzalez is putting a probe right here. Going to be putting down his third base as well. Caste does not see this third base at all. But once he gets that sim letter, he will be able to see it. So these are he's stationed at the third base just to kill off that zealot. Needs to put it back right here. More roaches for Caste. No anti-air at all, but we do have a hydraulic stand on the way. So he probably suspects something like a Stargate. Although he does not see any Stargate or anything suspicious like that. There are now five Void Rays on the field, six coming out right here. Air attacks level one, almost finishing. Uh, doesn't have any ground attacks or ground upgrades. He does have charge from the Twilight Council, and Gonzalez is going to be moving out with his Stalker Zealot army. Now, Caste does see this because he is on the creep, but if he's not looking at the minimap, he will not catch wind of this. And these Roaches and Zerglings not doing anything, and the Protoss is just going to march right on through. Oh wait, never mind. Decides to back out at the last moment. Caste should engage this right now, as he does have a big chance of winning. He just passes right through him. Caste doesn't even notice. And going to be attacking this third base right now. Still not moving here. Not paying attention at all. Needs to focus down this hatchery. And just going to be moving out. Caste, that is. And this hatchery is probably going to be taken out right now. There we go. Uh, these Rulings are going to do a significant amount of damage to the uh, Zealots. Needs to focus down these Hypers and Roaches, but going to be losing all of those. So, I don't think losing that third base of Cast uh, Caste losing that third base is worth Gonzalez's money. Uh, needs to put that rally point right here. Needs to continuously make workers. He is not fully saturated here and nor fully saturated kind of there. Going to be pushing out with these seven Void Rays. Going to be rally to to here. I would suppose I don't know where they're actually going. But more Stalkers, Sentries, and Zealots for Gonzalez. Caste is heavily favored. Going to be going for that range attack level 2. Hatchery, third hatchery going back down. As long as, uh, as well as two spine crawlers to back that up. A lot of hydras right now. There are how many hydras? There are 14 hydras, so it might be able to deal with this many void rays. But I don't know if Gonzalez uh, focus fires those hydras, he might be able to get take them out. But a similar just gonna be finishing now, and Caste is gonna see this, so he now does now know that there are three bases for him uh, for Gonzalez. So he is gonna be moving out with his Hydra, Roach, and Zergling army. Now, these Void Rays just standing here and the cor uh, at the corner. Overlord speed is done. There is Blink being upgraded, level 1 attack on the ground being upgraded, level 1 armor being upgraded, and gonna be going for that plus 1 armor for the Zerg player. Gonna be going for that Burrow as well. Kind of a late lair, I would think. I don't know when that lair was up, but Caste looking to kill this third base as there are no and uh, nothing uh, defending this. So Gonzalez is going to be moving some of his army. Wait, oh no! All these transferring probes going to be taken out. Needs to push him back. Pull him back. Pull him back. Going to be taking out that many workers. Let's see how many workers. Oops. Ah, I can't get the hot key, hot key right. Let's see, it was this, right? No, that's APM. Oh no, I did something bad, didn't I? Okay, well anyways, third base is taken out by Gonzalez. Why can't I get the right hotkey? Uh, uh, okay, it is... Uh, he has killed 14 probes. So, that is a lot of probes, considering that Gonzalez isn't making any more at the moment. A lot of idle probes needs to get back to work here. And things aren't actually looking so good for Gonzalez. He does have 900 minerals in the bank. Nothing in the production tab so his macro is slipping really really hard right now needs to make more uh, pylons this army of caste is getting really devastating right now but gonna be these void rays wow nine void rays